Hello, Technology Crazy here, and today we're going to be teaching you how to hack Windows computers. So I was thinking about doing this video for a very long time, but I was really hesitant because I didn't want to teach people how to hack computers, especially thousands of people. It just didn't seem right in my mind. Um, but then I remembered, why did I learn how to hack? And it was to learn how computers work. And actually, in the week that I learned how to hack, I learned most about computers that I ever had before, and I learned about hashes, I learned about how the computer runs, I learned, learned about all about networking, um, all this stuff, and it was a really, really fun experience for me. So I'm hoping to share that with you guys today. So we're going to be working with a very, very powerful program called OPH Crack. Now it's something you want to use uh, very carefully because you don't want to crack your friend's passwords. You don't want to go to your school and crack their passwords. It's not uh, what I'm trying to get at. It's more of a learning experience. So we have OPH Crack and links will be in the description. Uh, what we're going to be doing is downloading this and booting it off an ISO or off a CD or USB and then um, hacking the hash and then cracking that hash password. So we're going to download the live CD. We have the XP version and the Vista version. Uh, the XP will also work with Windows 2000, and this one will also work with Windows 7. So once we download the ISO, it's about 500 megabytes. Uh, we're going to download something else only if you're using um, a USB. So under Support, and under Frequently Asked Questions, scroll down, and you can see that there's a Install Live CD on a USB stick. Now we have a program called Taz USB, which I'll have the link in the description to, and you can download that. So, over here I have a Windows emulator and it actually has my two files here, it has TAS USB and OPH Crack. We're going to go to computer first and uh, find our USB, make sure it's plugged in. We'll right click on it, oops sorry about this, There, right click on it and click format. Now we're going to make sure this is a FAT32 and a warning, this will erase all the data on your disk so make sure um, or on your USB, so make sure you have it all backed up. Make sure it's FAT32 and press start. I don't want to do that because I already have my, all my files on there. After it's FAT32, we can open up TAS USB. Press OK. Next. And find the ISO of your um, OPH crack Vista thing. So right, and then you want to press next. Now I don't want to do this because I already have it all set up. I'm going to go into computer. And I'm just going to show you what is inside uh, the USB after you've done all this stuff. You won't have this one because this is what I've added in extra, just uh, a, lo a lot of files that I need to have my USB still. But we have my boot, uh, which will, the program will make. And we also have tables. Now, what are tables? Um, basically, uh, how Windows works, it's best if I just show you here. I have a whole bunch of different things open. Uh, so. Windows uh, uses something called MD5 hashes or hashes. Um, so what basically does is you type in your password and when you create it, and it'll create a hash just like this. Now hashes, you can only go one way. You can't take this hash and change it back into text very easily because you can't um, you can't encrypt it or decrypt it actually um, unless you uh, generate every single type of string and generate a whole bunch of different hashes and then compare that hash to find the passwords. So that's what tables are. They're a list of thousands of hundreds of millions of hashes and it will search and compare your hash with uh, its database and then find uh, your string. So you kind of kind of reverse engineer that. So let's say we typed in hi here. We can copy over the string. And um, this is just an online decry decryptor. So if you have your string on your computer and you find it, you can also use this website and you can just type in your string and type in this and decrypt password Let's say working and it found it that was high or oh, actually no it didn't <laughs> that was from last time there with the typed it in wrong there we go uh, so it says hi so uh, what this program will do is it'll actually d compare it with its own database but if you don't find it you can also use this website and find it online so I'll have all the links in the description so going back to this, um, I have two tables here. I have the Windows free one, which comes with it. I also have Windows special. Now I found that this is necessary to crack most passwords because it's a lot bigger. Um, and you can download this off the internet. It, all you have to do is search OPH tables um, and there's a whole bunch of different torrents and stuff um, to get those tables. So uh, I just made a new folder called Vista underline special and stuck all my tables in there. So now I'm just going to be showing you how to boot it off your computer using USB. Okay, so I have my USB plugged into my laptop and we're going to be changing the boot order so it will boot off my USB or CD first. So it should say something like press F2 to enter setup. We're going to do that. 
and this is called the BIOS. We're going to be changing the boot order, so it will boot off the USB or CD first. So we're going to make sure that USB is at the top of the list or CD, and on the side it will tell you how to change it. So for me it's press F5 or press F F6 to move it up and down the list. So once USB is at the top of the list, you're going to look at the bottom and check out how to save your BIOS. Uh, so for me it's F10 and press yes. Here we can see um, OPH crack booting up and we're just going to do graphic mode because it's the simplest. And it's going to show a whole bunch of text, you guys don't have to worry about that, it means you're doing the right thing. And it's going to boot up Linux and uh, run the program off Linux. Okay, so this is OPH crack, and I'm covering up my hashes because I don't want you guys to crack it. But basically, you have your hashes, you have your usernames, and you also have the tables that we had before. Now, if I expand them, we have the Windows Free, as I said, and the window, or the Vista Special. Uh, so I'll try both of them, and uh, hopefully you're going to get your password. It'll do the rest all for you. You can change uh, what tables you want to boot off of and settings and stuff like that. And uh, it's a really cool program, so please go and check this out and stay around for the Pikmin program, and I hope you find your passwords. That's all from Technology Crazy. Goodbye. Okay, so the Pikmin winner this week is Techno Update Now, and if you want to go and visit his channel, all you have to do is go and click on the Click Me button on your screen right now. Basically, he makes text videos about Android, iPhone, and all this stuff, and he makes really cool videos, and he's where I was a while ago, and I think he has lots of potential, so I was hoping you guys could go and check him out, maybe give him advice, and maybe even subscribe. So if you want to be part of the Pick Me program, all you have to do is go into my latest video, and you can say Pick Me, and you can say it as many times as you want, and you might win for the next contest of the Pick Me program. So I guess that's all from Technology Crazy Goodbye, and I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to rate and thumb it up.